Hey everyone, uh, just doing a video update on myself. Um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with that expression where it says, um, when it rains, it pours. Basically, it's just saying like, if some, I, it's like, if something bad happens to you, it's just another thing after another. And um, that's sort of been my case uh, lately. So, y'all knew that I had an arm injury and, you know, <clears throat> I was recovering from it, and um, so far, so good with that. But um, a couple of weeks ago, my scalp was breaking out really bad, and I was having um, a lot of patchy hair loss on the sides right here. I mean, I still do. And you can't see it. It's not as noticeable when I cut my hair. I cut my hair almost every other day myself, and... Uh, yeah, just so you won't notice these um, hair loss patches that I have on the sides. But anyways, um, I went to the dermatologist and uh, they ran some tests and they did a biopsy on my scalp. And come to find out, I was diagnosed with discoid lupus. Now, discoid lupus is uh, a kind of lupus. There's different types of lupus, which I didn't know. It's uh, a lupus that affects the skin. So it's going to attack your skin primarily like um, your scalp, your face, your neck, you would start breaking out. and um, It can get really worse to where it starts transitioning to something else where like maybe um, your internal organs get damaged and yeah, so far that's like worst case scenario. But um, yeah, I'm not up to that yet. So um, it just kind of sucks trying to deal with this kind of stuff because um, I've never had to really like take medicine daily and now I have to take medicine for the rest of my life and um, they don't know if my hair is gonna grow back or if it's gonna get worse so it's just one of those things that it's like day by day thing it's um, one of those diseases that attacks your immune system and um, it all decides to attack you know some part of your body and after that it goes into remission and um, I can come back so I I'm trying to learn about this myself apparently lupus is more common with uh, women than with men so um, that was kind of awkward that I'm like great <laughs> I happen to be in that like really low percentage of people getting it or um, it could be hereditary I don't know I don't know really a lot of my close relatives or family um, that's a whole other subject but um, I just wanted to share this video with y'all just to let y'all know that I might be missing an action. I might be looking a little bit different. I don't know what's going to happen. But so far, um, it's just affecting my hair and uh, my scalp. So who knows where it'll go from there. Um, my arms are doing really well. Let me show you where I'm at. This is my injured arm. And I'm starting this week lifting 30 pounds. And here's my other arm, and I'm lifting 50 pounds with this one, of course, so it's progressing really well. So, um, who knows? You know, maybe this lupus thing will progress and get better. I don't know. I've started treatment two weeks ago also, and, um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought I'd share this with y'all and kind of excuse myself for... Um, not answering comments or emails lately. I promise I will answer everybody comments, emails. <clears throat> it's just I've had a lot on my mind lately. And um, anyways, guys, mm, just you know, um, if you still want to send me a message, comment, go ahead, feel free. Um, I promise you, I will eventually get back with you and. Um, if I don't see y'all for a while, I just hope y'all have a great fall, great holidays, and enjoy every, enjoy life. And just make sure you tell the people you love how much you love them. So, yeah. Um, y'all have a great week, and I'll talk to y'all later. All right? Bye.